Hey guys, welcome back. We are just going to dive straight into it really. So here I am playing the lizard combo, a combo that you've probably already seen and it's a list I pulled together. Um, so let's dive right into what exactly the combo is. So Modern Horizons 3 is obviously out and brought a lot of new tools. So what that new tools is, is the basking brood scale, which you can see on the right hand side. Um, so what this is, is a 1 to green 2-2 two -two with adapt 1. So what that allows you to do is whenever one or more counter is put on this, it creates a Eldrazi spawn token, which is a 0-1 token that you can sack to add a colorless. So for two, and then you so for two mana, then you adapt it for two, which makes it a 3-3, three, three, and then it makes an Eldrazi spawn. So with Sadistic Glee, which is a one black enchantment aura, when you enchant uh, this brood skill, when a counter is put on it, you make a 1-1 one, at all one. The old one sacrifices itself to add a colourless. You then add a counter to it because a guy's died, and then you make another. And you're instant repeat. So you make an infinite power guy, and then you make uh, infinite colourless mana. So with that, the idea is from that combo, you can use either use energy refractor to basically turn your infinite colours into infinite coloured, and then go off. And then you can either win with Nadia's uh, Nightblade. Or we can use makeshift munitions, which you make 25 or ones. Sack them all, make a counter uh, with 25 colorless. And then with one left over, you pay one to sacrifice the other one to shoot. And then it rinse and repeats. And that's kind of how you get there. So I've sort of done what I do best. And I've put it into a um, like, sort of goblin combo shell with unearth... Um, Fanatical Orphan, Deadly Dispute, Mes Mesmeric Fiend, Duress, and stuff like that. Uh, Chromatic Stars. Uh, but what I've used is Malevent Rumble, which is a card that you reveal top four cards, you put a permanent card from among them into your hand, and then you create a 0 1 with Colorless. So having that Colorless guy there is already good to start the chain off, which is great. Um, but also, you get to find a way to pick the sadistically so sadistically is the hardest one once it's in the bin it's in the bin like you've got two evolutionary witnesses to sort of get it back but that's about it so this is the deck uh we've got a lot of support around it with unearth uh duresses chromatic stars to sort of sacrifice the deadly spirit to sort of make a mana and i've sort of just like made my own makeshift mana of based on like goblin combo to be honest it's very similar um and then the sideboard is sort of in that same sort of boat We've got a Curse Marauder, Duress, M Mesmeric Fiend, and then I've got three Deglamors, two Spell Bombs, Arms of a Dying, two Life Goes On. And the three Deglamors, two Spell Bombs is basically because I feel like Affinity is everywhere. Um, and that is the best way I can describe it. Um, the Life Goes On is in, obviously for red if we do end up versing it, and then Evolutionary Witnesses in case we verse it in, just for any deck with a lot of heavy removal. Uh, the two slither heads are there basically because you can play them, you can sack them early, and then it's a zero mana guy that just uh, starts the chain. Because you need, you don't only need three mana to do this combo, you also need a thing to die or a thing to put a counter on. So that's kind of where we've got that. I've got a snakeskin veil as well to put a counter on a guy to give it hexproof, which again starts the chain. So we'll see how this goes, and yeah, wish me luck. See you guys for round one. So here we are for round one. We are on the play. We have a one lander plus a star. Uh, I'd snap keep this if we had another land, if one of these brood skills was another land, but I sort of don't think we can. Run the play. Yeah, it's Mulligan. This hand seems much better. So we're just going to play a Dross Forge, Forest, Energy Refractor. Uh, we probably bottom. I don't even know. Probably the Slitherhead, actually. I don't think we need it. I don't think having the Nadia's Nightblade on the bottom seems like a smart idea. Uh, yeah. Let's go! Drop it! Seagate? That seems like a core gate deck. Caca, caca! Tree of Tails. So it's for the Forest. Engine Refractor. Bajuka Balg. Island cycle, get an island, play island, Prionian. Fuck. How did I guess that play pattern? Might blow. So I can play this Nightblade out, but I am conscious of. Um, 
Conscious of Journey. Same with the Brutal. I think because we have other wing cons, I think I'm happy with playing out the Nightblade, if anything. And we'll sort of just play this on uh, this Bajuka bug out. Hopefully this doesn't get journeyed. But we'll see. Journey. Oh no, Squadron Hawk. Okay. And start attacking for one. They got two squaddies. Evolutionary winners. So again, I'll probably just attack for one. I'll play this. By Jukabog. Get him. And then we'll play the evolutionary witness out. Just just so we can just start attacking in general. Seems reasonable to me. Um the other thing we could run is we could run um the fetch lands, the landscapes. Uh probably the Jund one. Uh because this gets the permanence back, so you can actually just So here I can sack this and then adapt this to bring this back. Is something I can do. Which is not nothing. To be fair. Get. Are they just getting aggro? No, they're playing Guardian. Okay. So we do have Marauder for that sort of thing, but they are tapped out. Um. So if we draw a sadistically here, we win. Yeah. Shame. So, do we... Hmm. I don't know what the best way forward is here. We can try and draw a card. Draw a card. Land. And then I'm going to attack. This is two to adapt, right? And it's into speed. So none of these will die to the Guardian. It's pretty brutal that they've got the Guardian down early, so like the attacking sort of game plan doesn't really work. Uh, maybe I should have played the Baskin Brood skill, but... Uh, you pitch in one, yep. If for one, so this is pretty good at obviously dealing with, we'll just play this. Um, yeah, I think I'm fine just attacking. So they'll block the four, I'm assuming. Take the one. I'll play the brood scale. We have a second one, so we might as well play it. And we can just adapt this guy, like just make a 3-3. Three, three. Sort of try to get aggro. Like it's not, not like not an issue. This my extra hands is fine. Because this loses life and this um this colors. What each up? I probably may end of turn actually shoot, uh, actually adapt this, to be honest. Like, I'm not opposed to that. And I'm just going to play the other one. Play sacred card. Okay. Coolio. Attack four. Or do I cycle this? I'll probably just cycle this, right? Seems better than a uh, fanatical offering, seems good. Uh, I have an army of stuff. Um, yeah, I'm gonna do this now. Duress snake seems good. So we'll start with a duress. Yeah, that seems reasonable. Can't spell. Yes. Uh. Let's play a land. We'll play another brute skill. Is there a point in attacking? 
with the 4 3 because they get to block block. Uh, I probably should have put counter on this actually because this, this gets through the Guardian. So if they just actually just attack with it and don't bass this gate, we can just double block it. Kill on the guy. I'm assuming they're gonna no, okay. Yep, 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 yep. I'm fine actually just attack them with one of these. These two one ones are fine. I'll just attack with one of these, I think. They might double block here, but I think overall it's fine. Uh, probably play a swamp here, and do I just actually attack with all? I think I'm gonna not the night blade, but I'll attack with the rest. I don't mind double uh shooting it, double pumping here. Yes, yes. I think this is fine to do that. Um. Just double pull. One, two, two. Have I played a land this turn? Yes. I pump one. Oh, yes. Oh, shield. Bye. Um, and then I'll pass. Because here we can snakes can build something, or we can, and then we can end the turn dross dross pits. Draw a discard, sure. Hmm. Interesting for sure. We're literally just waiting for some sort of interaction, i.e., get rid of the counter spell that's in the hand, and also B get a sadistically. Which all are, all are fine. Even just playing it sadistically here is not the worst. Put it on your flyer, sure. Yeah, putting us on a pretty quick clock. I'm gonna yield to land step. And then we'll draw a card in the turn. And bam your sacred cat. So they definitely only have one piece of interaction here. So let's try this. Draw a card. We have a sadistic clay place. Boom. The night coffin. The night coffin isn't awful. Especially since we can do this. Oh, yeah, I forgot about this. Uh, yes. Give me that life. Uh, I guess we'll. The night coffin is. Might as well trigger it twice. Yeah. Yeah. Sadistic clay and witness. Hmm. So, sadistically, this. So, sadistically, this. I counter it. Witness. Snake skin veil, the. Witness. Sadistically. Uh, other than that, what else can we do? So we'll start with a uh, witness. See what to do. Counter. Come on, just counter. Let's go! So then we'll sadistically this. <laughs> Let's go! Let's go! Crazy, 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 crazy. Uh, let's. What count on this? Yeah! Uh, always yes. Why not? Always yes. Yes. Back. Always yield. Yield. 
I don't know why they're not triggering, but why they're not stacking, but oh well. I will kill you. Pew, 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 pew. Let's go. Let's go. You and your car gatiness. Yeah, boy. Yeah, boy. Yeah, boy. Why? What? Okay. Sideboard. Uh, I think we just need the interaction. I was a bit concerned. I guess we take the this as well. Uh, so we don't need spell bomb. We probably have time to not need the chromatic stars. Uh, and probably a snake skin veil. Seems good. Uh, I don't think we need arms. So, uh, we have a combo. Uh, yeah. I am not against this at all. It's quite useful, really, because we can just play Brood Scale out. Depending on what they do, we can just play Brood Scale out and see what they do. Are they just going to play Squadron Hawk here, or... Uh... Squaddy. Getting two squaddies. I'm okay with playing one out and then just mezfiend sadistically. Rude scale. Hi. Potentially, even if they tap out, I'm not against. Yep. This is fine. So they're gonna play another. They do play another. Okay. I'm not against playing all of this, like playing our entire hand. So let's choose tag creature. Let's just here is my sadistic link. Um Let's adapt this. Always yes. Always yield. Yes. Let's sack this. Uh, sack this. Always yield. Energy refractor. Draw. Well, that's a bit sad. But. Let's see what you're working with. On the black, what you're working with. You have a journey. Destroy evil. Interesting. Let's take the destroy evil. And let's get rid of the top three. Uh, then we'll sack this. Uh, we'll sack this. We'll sack this. We will then make a green. Play a brood scale. 11. Of thirteen. We're just gonna make this big enough to attack and then attack. Fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. We have three lands in hand, which are is a shame, but. The combo is ready to go. Whoa, you're blocking. Who'd have thought? Thanks for the guy. I will keep making one ones. Blue brainstorm. So the drew a brainstorm. So we comboed. We now have a 21 21. Uh, and go, I guess. They found a journey. No, they didn't. They found, a, they found another squad and hop. And they're going to pick a squadron hawk up, I'd assume. Yep. And they'll play a tap land. So they're still going to bust this gate. Um, and we are going to... I'm assuming they're not going to attack. Okay. Let's go. Slither header. So I'm going to sack this. Might as well do this now. Draw card. Makes of munitions. Nadia. 
<laughs> I can find something that kills these. I'm sort of laughing. Maybe even should put something on that gives this trample. Uh, we'll clear this out. Uh, we will attack, attack, attack. To be fair, uh, no, I can't. I was going to say I could maybe attack with this and the have to, but I can block, block. They block this guy, as expected. And they block this guy. Okay, I'm going to leave this untouched though. So thank you for the. Two counters and the two one ones. So I sack one. Sack another. Make a block. That's this guy. Hi. And then this obviously can draw us a card again next turn. We have a 25 25. Pretty odd ain't you? They really are digging for the bottom bottom. I'm going to play a Basilisk Gate and play two more Squadron Hawks. I'll play a Squadron Hawk Sacred Cat. And we're just going to start attacking. Tacky, tack, 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 tack. They just concede. Let's go, baby! See you guys for round two. Hey guys, welcome back here to round two. Um, I am happy to keep this hand. Hand seems fine to me. Going to do some Baskin Brood skill things. So we'll just probably play, depending on what they're on, we'll play from uh, Chromatic Star into Energy Refractor. Or if we need to, we can just play the Baskin Brood scale. Land, Star. Classic. Oh, a blue deck. Ho ho, combo. Um, I guess we draw a card. Blue green. Oh, oh snap. Um, you gotta go for it, I guess. You've got a turn. Go, I guess. They've got a turn. We've got a turn. Let's stare at each other. Please don't kill me. Rancor. Okay. Uh... Do I block? Oh, I can't block. It's unblockable, isn't it? Am I dead? Giant girl puts it to six. Let's play land. Statistically. Hi. Combos! Have you got an unsummon? Adapt. Do you have an unsummon? Do you actually have an unsummon here? Oh dear. I don't like this. Stop it. I want off the ride. So the adaption is allowed, always yes, always yield. There go one one, sack the one one, always yield. Keep on going, keep on going. I'm just gonna do this until it's at the right power. And then I'll then start casting all my spells. If my opponent doesn't not not let me. No rinse and repeat this until this is big enough to kill you. So just let me do it. Just let me do it. Uh what I actually might do here is when I have a one one here, I might actually just play the malevolent malevolent rumble so that it makes another all one. Just in case they do have an unsummon. That means I can still keep make a mana to do these. Our opponent says I thought this combo was banned. But no.
But I'm not even joking. My opponent has actually just said, I thought this combo was, was, was banned. Not even troll. No troll. New no troll by me. Cool. Uh, so we're racing. So we want to do these. And these. Do we want arms? Only one cranial round. Because in MH3 they banned beforehand some cards. They were banned one card. One card. Check out casting commons. I'm really up to date for that sort of stuff. Two, three, four, five, six. So we have sadistically, it's a bit slow. I think we can keep this though. So we play Bridge, the Glistener Elf, Badge. Yeah, we're gonna die because this uh, sounds a bit slow. Unfortunately, so we'll probably, if we draw, hopefully our best draw is a basic so we can uh, malevolent rumble and try and find a bridge skill. Yes. Stuck on one land though. That is not the land I'm looking for. Uh, I guess I do this and discard, bounce this. Discard a snake skin veil, I guess. Yeah. Probably the best bet. Then we malevolent rumble into Dark Moss Bridge and hopefully combo. Oh, God, I got my dead. Okay. Sure. We died. Yeah, we're a bit off. We're a bit off. So, yeah. Okay, let's run it back. All we can hope for is that we are quicker than they are. Or we find a Marauder, I guess. Okay, so. Let's go. So we have Brood Scale. We have Mez Fiend. I mean, keep this. The snake symbol is a bit awkward. But hopefully, Mezfiend, we'd been on the play. Got Bajuka Bog, Forest, Mezfiend, hopefully, take like a Blighted Agent or their actual two drop creature. And hopefully, they don't have Glitter Elf. Is sort of my hope. Uh, the other option is we can play Bask and Brood skill here. Okay, this is hopeful. Let's find. Uh, blighted agent, giant growth, fatality charm, stuff, 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 stuff. Blighted agent. Bye. -bye. Uh, they drew a land. Okay. And no wing cotton. So there's no point in attacking because they have uh, vitality charm. So they can actually just make a one one and block this. So what I'm actually going to do is I can play Engine Refractor to try and find a land. Yeah, that's not the end of the world. And then next turn I'll play the Baskin Brood Skill. Because I do need to find the Spell Pace? Yeah. If you don't have Spell Pace this, that's sort of fine. I'm okay with that. Uh Vitality Champ costs one green, right? Yep. Yeah. We'll just pass. Maybe should have played this. They pass, do nothing. That's a great draw. The Brute Skill. Drop Farm. Bounce the Forest. Not attack. And now we need to just wait until we find a Sadistically here. Is that where we're at? So let's attack for two.
Um, do I play? I probably play one of the three drops, right? Yeah, it's probably just evolution, I guess. I tap like a spongle. I guess if the count spell this, then no, it's not. But go. <sighs> Um, boys sort of coming together. They're on six cards. We still know five of them. Makes you for munitions. So that's Nadia's Nightblade. And then we'll attack for four. If they want a Vitality Charm here to block the Evolution Witness, that's fine. We can snake skin veil. Make a 1 1 show. No block here. I'll put this on here. It means it survives and I get to bring back the energy refractor. Not fantastic, but. Means it survives, which is the main. Like, they have to then now waste a pump spell to kill this. Which, if they really want to do that, that's okay. Uh, giant go. Yep. Go. Oh. I'm surprised they did that all for the evolutionary witness. Oh, snap. That's a guy. Uh, let's energy refractor here. Snake skin veil. So, I kind of want some stuff in play. Because I need to start killing this. Like, I need to kill this as quick as I can. So, do I unearth? I cast unearth on here. They have four cards then, and big and snake skin veil, plus the glamour, and an unknown. I really do need a sadistically. So, I can start comboing off. Uh, we have the mana to try and combo off. We're going to attack. Uh, how do I want to go about this? So I have five cards in hand. This doesn't give trample, right? No. This obviously doesn't. And the glamour doesn't do much. Uh, I'm going to block with a Nightblade. Blocking's a weird one because it gives you plus tips too. So it's like, do I really want to do that? And then pass. Okay. So let's put a red into that. And then uh, play Mixer Finitions. Hi! Spell piece. Uh, sure. No. No. I am yet again asking for something. I'm just asking for a statistically, really. I don't really feel like that's too much to ask for. Uh, I'll probably... Do I have to throw this under the bus? Or do I snake skin veil make a guy block? Mm, let's snake skin veil. Here. Means I can't adapt it either, which is quite annoying. But then I can block it. Yes. Block. So we know I'm big in snake skin veil, the glamour, and two unknowns. Deadly dispute, huh? So I guess, I guess I got brood scale here, and then I probably try and block here, and now the block and deadly dispute. Rancor is brutal. 
three, seven, right? Artifact creature of Phyrexian Mer, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Do I just have to now throw everything at it? Block. 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 Okay. This is rather annoying. So I can pump this by two instead of Deadly Disputing. This also is, gives me my best chances. Okay. Five, three, one, two, three, four, five. But what I actually might do is I might actually do exactly what I've just said and pump this to makeshift munitions. Because then I can also then just sack the energy refractor of this, assuming that they tap low. Uh, all depends on what to do here, right? Like, they can trade here and then just play a lighted agent. If they wanted to. And biggin that. So then biggin's gone. That's nine. Nine. Three, four, five. This is rather annoying. I think I have to just let it go, right? Both wing cons, however, are in the bin now. But maybe not. Maybe I'm supposed to pump here. And then I'd get back. Yeah, I'll probably go back and make shift munitions here. It trades. Oof. We took two after all that. Let's go. Boom. Fanatical offering. So let's. Do we just fanatical offer in this? Yeah, seems fine. Mezfiend. Unfortunately, we are one mana short. Deadly dispute this. Rumble. I guess we just do this and just take the. I don't even know. We probably just take the blight agent, right? Depending on what they have in hand, obviously. And I don't attack because they can just pump this. So they have raw, rancor. So they have basically a bunch of nothing plus the blighted agent, which we'll now take. And then we'll pass. So we need to find a way to basically beat a uh, glamour, which with an extra 1-1 one -one is actually fairly easy. They just top up. All right, top an augury. Okay, that's pretty cool. Sweet. Come on, three. And did they find a threat? They did not. Sadistically, no, sadistically. So let's a rumble. Let's get ready. Let's get ready. Let's get ready to rumble. Mezfiend and some lands. So we'll take a Mezfiend, I think. Seems okay to me. Mezfiend. What you working with, huh? Uh, did you find a creature? What did you find? A Glitter Elf. Oh, I didn't... oh, they were really scared of things. Okay. One, two, three. One, two, three, four, five. And then we'll play a star. Then we'll play a land. And then we'll pass. 
Again, I'm not going to attack because the, uh, they can just pump this and kill it. So we wait. We wait, wait, wait. Uh, unfortunately, though, the, the one downside is the fact that the makeshift munitions is really awkward. Because as a wing con, it doesn't really do very well against the glamour. So there is that. So let's start with chromatic star. We'll pop the chromatic star and sort of get going. There's another mesfiend. We'll take a mesfiend. Well, mesfiend that a glamour, sorry. <laughs> uh, we'll mesfiend. Oh, they've got two de glamours now. Well, that's a bit annoying. Uh, none of this stuff gives trample, right? Becomes a dinosaur. Take the rank off. One, two, three, four, five. Oop. Uh, that's energy refractor. I'm drawing a card. Third Ross Pit. Uh, I'm actually okay attacking for two, right? No, I'm not. Am I? Am I? Yeah, let's attack for two. Because if they want to put a snake skin veil or try and, you know, whatever this, that's fine. Because I have another in my hand. Yes. Okay. Pump it. Louder. Might shove. Yep. Totally fine. I could have sacked to traded, but I also didn't see the point. Maybe it was correct. Since I'm only wasting a treasure. <clears throat> Blighted agent. Okay. So we know the four cards in hand. And the good thing about knowing these four cards in hand. Is that I can make shift munitions. So let's. Uh, red. Uh, I guess I'm supposed to do this first right. Uh, not with that red though. Do this first. Play makeshift munitions. And then I pretty much I think I just throw the vault at this. Uh, so I throw uh, uh probably throw an energy refractor actually. And then when they go to pump with the uh, the glamour or relics raw, we throw the I'll drive the spawn token at it. So it all depends on what they want to do. They can try and deglam in the makeshift munitions here. No, obviously still a fine choice. Uh, the snakes can build. So we will tap this. Throw the... Uh, probably the Eldrazi spawn. Yay. Bye. Then we'll play Brood Skill. So they have a Relic Rob, which is fine, I guess. Um, but we're going to basically look at killing this 1-1 one, one now, if they don't untap and deglamour it. And then that attacking. And that's basically our game plan. Final land, so they've got deglamour, deglamour, Relic Rob, so they'll probably end up deglamouring this. Yes. So they have another deglamour for this. Boom. Oh, well, that's not good. Um, they have a Relics Raw. And then we'll pass. So I think we'll pass, yeah. There's no point in playing the Accursed Marauder because it doesn't actually kill anything. We'll just end of turn, do this. Chromatic star. Okay. We are 25 cards through our deck and we haven't seen a single um, sadistically. Mm, black. We have a land. Um, I don't know what I'm meant to do here, if I'm totally honest. So I can attack, but I don't think it does anything. Is my problem. So I can't attack with these while this is out. Because it just dies. But I can trade. 
But they're on four cards, so the likelihood of this insect surviving is very likely. And they've got the Glamour Plus stuff. We're just going to play another Brood Scale. Um, I think I can attack with this now that I have a second Brood Scale. But I also think the second Brood Scale sort of plays around the Glamour. But we'll see what they end up doing. So I just take this. Okay. Pump spell. Relics raw, so let's adapt. The good thing about these accursed marauders is basically they um mean that they can't get a guy out. So we've already taken three of their guys so far. This is still trading. We'll play land and we'll pass. So we've got a Deglamour. We still need a Sadistically. All of them are just chilling. But this should mean... Assume there's... That could be a Vitality, vitality Charm though. That is also another problem. I guess... Hmm. I guess we just pass right now. Let's attack for two. Sort of gauge the... What's going on. Yeah, so that's no... There's no Vitality Charm. Oh dear. The problem is, like, even if the like the, the awkward thing about oh my god, let's attack. Vitality charm, yes. Block, yes. Uh, okay. Home spell. I'll adapt. There's no reason not to. I get a 1-1 one, one out of it. Uh, yes. 1, 2... Um, now it comes to 1, 2, 3, 4. So that's all 4. Okay. So now they need an Unearth. Interesting that they didn't do that last turn. Curse Maraud is really awkward here because, you know, it's only non... It's non-token. <sighs> fanatical offering so let's fanatical offering the spawn token makes your munitions in sadistically okay uh do this for red one hi and then we will pop this or try and pop this shoot token I will make sure to glamour this. So the glamour's gone. I think I'm okay with this. And then if they're gonna pump it, that's that's fine. Yep. So. I maybe should have sacked again to then make it make sure it died before the thing but I kind of want to keep my lands not gonna lie to you so I have a sadistically <sighs> we need an unearth yes I see what you're committing here uh we'll take four we have a bit of time here four five six seven Uh, how many unearths did I take out? Oh, no. No. Have I actually just took out all my wincons? Uh, one, two, because I've used an unearth, right? <laughs> Okie dokie. I will attack. Four, three. Put you to 11. 
I need to probably put a uh, sadistic glee on something. But right now that is not happening. 18 cards. I don't actually know what I've got left in my deck. That's my problem. So I know there's a root wallers. Uh, I don't think there's any. There might be one evolutionary witness. Evolution witness. There's another sadistic lane. So. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Is that? So if I attack with these three, put it sadistically on this, put it sadistically on this. Playing a Curse Marauder, sack itself, gain, this gains two counters. Playing a Curse Marauder, sack itself, this gains two counters. So it's two, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So I'm two damage off. So then basically I attack. Right? Uh, please don't kill me. It's basically where I'm at here. Four, five, six, seven. I should have probably put these on here. Four, five, six, seven. I'm going to block. This might also affect my damage a little. Four. So three, six. Uh, that puts it to something quite big. So that's ten, nine. So giant growth. And then biggin. That's ten. Yeah, that was two damage off, right? Yes. Did I have an evolutionary witness? I think I had one. Oh god. I don't know why I thought I was in uh, that was only game two, but we I forgot we got stomped. But yeah, interesting that I ended up board now. I probably misboarded there and probably had that otherwise. But we'll see you guys for round three. Hey guys, welcome back here to round three. Uh we can't keep this one lander, unfortunately. Oh come on. Can we? You know what, YOLO? Let's see how, how good the combo is. So we need a way to go off. It's either the Rumble or the Slitherhead. Let's bottom this just in case. Ah, oh, come on. Let's just draw lands. Draw some lands. I'm sorry if we draw one land, this gets us there, but we kind of only need one land. We're very all in on a combo too. So let's see how we get on. Fingers crossed. Uh-oh, our opponent is on Mountain. Mono the red. So sideboard we've got like two life goes on some duress right? An arms maybe. Two life goes on. Two dress. There we go. Report oh they are not mono red like we expect. They are Whoa! Well good job I bottomed that um Good job I bottomed that blinking now Spellbomb. Mono Red Reanimator. Don't like just... The hell? Okay. Star. Kind of think I just want to rumble here. Uh, I want... <laughs> Probably a... Forest. Then we'll pass. We can't really do too much. I'd make a big guy. Oh, that's three fair for seconds. Are they just like red? All the font, sure. They a black sauce. Yep. 
So let's go nuts. Sadistically. So we're gonna attack this Blair Brood scale. Let's sadistically. Do we just go for this or just do we wait? I think I'm fine waiting. This could be bad. Because it could be damage based and they could have double bolt here. But. This way at least I get to just play a guy and then attack. Olafoncha. Get the mountain. We got the exhum. The flashback of looting. Oh, bring back a sneaky snacker. Okay. Your sneaky snacker is back and it is tapped. Okie dokie. Um. Adapt. Yes. Yield. Colors. Yes. Make a big guy. I have an incredibly large guy. So this puts them basically just on snuff out. Come on. Oh, I was looking at my mana, not how big it was. For some reason. But let's start. Do we crack this? Probably not, because we can crack it for black, right? Ready to? What is going on? Come on, put up with your snuff out. Hurry! Snuff me! No, no snuff. Alright then, sure. So glad that was a good use of everyone's time. So they're reanimator, it seems. So let's do this. Um Probably don't want Mesfiend. Uh one sliver head's probably good enough. Uh, probably cut this and a star or two. Yeah. Like that. Makes Rumble a bit awkward, but because we're bringing in Jeresses as opposed to Mesfame, but oh well. Be good. Unfortunate we have the combo, but we only have a rock farm. So uh we could keep this and risk it but to draw a lamb, but it really doesn't work if we don't. Uh bog's fine, like I think this hand's capable. Probably go back to the witness. I mean probably just go vault. Uh, vault spell bomb, unless they obviously go mountain. They have to for example. But yeah, I think this is fine. Swamp, okay. Spell bomb, your turn. Oh, cycle, cycle the elephant. Get a snow covered mountain. So a bit of reunion's pretty scary, but. And it's okay, we can work around that later, especially with the exhum sort of stuff. Um, we can also make it so... Oh, oh, snap. Yes. We can basically put it so we have the Marauder in the bin, so any exhum brings brings our thing back. So uh, what am I doing? I'm just going to play the Bog. Bog 2 threats. And F6. Then we'll play Energy Refractor and then Rock Farm. Assuming that they don't produce a guy. But. 
But Curse Marauder is pretty good against this sort of piles. Faithless. Okay. Knackers. Next, next, next. Crusher plus Dragon's Breath. Okay. I don't mind playing the Energy Refractor and playing the uh, Rot Farm on the Bog. Because then I get the value off the Joker Boggin. And then not just Spell Bomb. It's really interesting that the Thought Snack is obviously as a, as a reasonable inclusion in Reanimator. It's another threat. Generally, I'm I'm assuming pretty much their threats are Ullamog's Crusher, Oliphant, Troll. A flashback in this Faithless for three. Unless there's a new reanimate spell that costs three that I don't know about. Oh, Gurmy. Gurmy's fine. <laughs> they think they got away with it, silly. Marauder. Hi! <laughs> I guess we'll bog your angler. Why not? Uh, then we can play another energy refractor and... Yeah. I think the interesting thing is, again, Marauder gets around a lot of... Like, the exhume stuff. So... Refractor. I'll probably just Fanatical Offering as well. Might even Deadly Dispute, actually. Yeah, I'll probably Deadly Dispute. I don't need your S. I feel completely fine and safe. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There's one combo piece. Another land. Four, five, six. So they're pretty much at the point where they're going to start hard casting their threats by the looks of it. So let's play this land. Uh, let's dress. Dragon Breath, Breath Weapon, Breath Weapon, Lightning Axe. Uh, so let's get rid of the Lightning Axe. Um, then we'll pass. Should have this it once we find a sadistic glade, just trying to figure the best way around it. Six. The big bomb. Gear mangler. Okay. Um I'm likely. Just hit the energy refractor or just hit the spell bomb. Hmm. I'm thinking here, best way. I think I just hit the energy refractor. I have a knife blade, anyways, so I have the mana. I'm just going to do this. There's a statistically. And away we go. Bridge girl. Statistically. Uh, best way forward is probably this because it's cheaper. Always oh, yes. Oh, shield. Sack. Oh, shield. Sack. Lock this. Sack. Shooting. Always oh, shield. And our opponent is dead. I don't understand why this isn't stacking all my crew when it says it should be, but okay. Go! And we'll just keep doing this until our opponent is dead. Easy. Woo! Easy! So I think with this deck, I do think it does have legs. Uh, obviously ended up being surprisingly pretty good here. Um, still... First iteration, there's definitely places to improve, for sure. Um, 
Rumble was okay. Combo was pretty strong. I like the wing cons. Maybe you need a better way of digging for said wing cons, potentially. I like the Marauders. I like the access to it all. Uh, I, I was just very surprised in general with the deck. Maybe the Trio Tails could be the green. Um, all, be, all, all will be one land. Um, but yeah, strong first iteration. And hope you guys enjoyed. If you do not uh, like this video, do forget to like and subscribe. And comment as well down below to let me know if any recommended changes. Uh, check out, obviously, Mana Trades if you do want to rent this deck. Because I do know Sadistic Glee is one of like two ticks or something right now. So if you want to check it out, uh, check out Mana Traders. Use my coupon code in the description below for 10% off of the first uh, two months. And you can use my referral link too. But yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this video. And see you guys next time. Peace.